Well, hi everyone, and a warm welcome back to the channel. Good morning. We are off on our travels, of course we are. We're always off on our travels, aren't we? Uh, where are we going, Helen? Well, we're staying in Norfolk um, this week, and we're going to go to Holcomb Hall. It's a pop-up site, so it's only open certain weeks of the year. Um, we were going to go last year, we didn't go, so we thought we'd have a look this year. Yeah, we thought we'd give it a whirl. Uh, so obviously we'll take you with us on the journey. Something a little bit different about the journey this time, two things. First of all, I've been sent a dash cam to trial. Now we do already have a, a dash cam, but this mm. one's a little bit different. And it's got 4K um, video recording on it, which is really important to us because, uh, as you know, we do record the journeys in. Uh, the current dash cam that I have doesn't have 4K capability. So I'm interested to see how we get on with this. So have a little look at the journey in on the map and just see if you can uh, see what you think to the um, the dash cam. Massive thank you to uh, Viofo for sending it to me, or Viofo, or Viofo, I don't know how you pronounce it actually, uh, for sending us this dash cam to try. I only ever do um, um, reviews on products that either I want or I think you might be interested in. So dash cams are all the rage, aren't they? We've had a look at it over the weekend actually and it's really good quality. Yeah, we have been trying it out. We were really pleased with what we saw. So we're going to include some footage from the dash cam in this Wi -Fi video. Disabled. And it's also, it, it speaks to you. You might have just heard it then. So uh, we'll show you some footage and I'll tell you a bit more about the dash cam later on in the video. But also um, two other things actually. We've had um, a number of our subscribers ask, what's the name of the village that we drive through when we go on a lot of our Norfolk journeys? Uh, and the village is called Philby, and it's the next village along from where we live at Caister on Sea. Um, and the reason it's been pointed out is it always looks very pretty with all the flowers, doesn't it, Helen? Yes, it uh, enters a competition every year, Village in Bloom, and it has actually won second. And it's actually won it a couple of years, hasn't it? It's come second a few times, yeah. but it's won it a few times as well. So uh, Very so pretty, and they put a load of work into that as well. So what we've done is we're going to drive through the village as normal, but we've also just took a little bit of video and some stills over the weekend mm. of this beautiful village in bloom, Philby in Norfolk. So mm -hmm. have a little look at that on the way in. And the final thing just to say is a massive thank you to everyone who subscribes to the channel, particularly all the new subscribers we've had, because we've now hit... Uh, more than 6,000 subscribers. I think this morning when I looked, we're at 6,130 or something. Uh, so the growth is amazing and really appreciated. Like we always say, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe, but it really does help you know us, the channel, to grow. Thanks so much. Yeah. So yeah, thank you so much indeed. And uh, keep doing it. If you haven't yet subscribed, smash it. Give it large, mm -hmm. as they say. Right, come on. We've spoken enough. Let's get off on the journey. And we'll see you when we get there. See you in Holcombe.
we've got to go through them gates hill gates ahead what does it say maximum height three meters maximum width 2.9 how wide are we don't know me neither but we can get through i think we're okay on height don't you yeah oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> so get a double decker in here yeah Campsite straight down. Mm -hmm. So follow the signs. We haven't been down this bit before, have we? No. Oh, look, all the deer over there. Look. Mm. Can you see them? What well, well, we have? Baby Bambies. We've come here for two Christmases. Mm. And we've seen it all decorated for Christmas. The lady, I can't remember her name, but she goes to the German markets in January. Oh, black yeah. milk, I think. Baby, baby. And she gets new themes for the, each room. And yeah. it's spectacular, isn't it? Christmas time. Yeah, really good. Very good. they'll have a reception here. Well, I've seen somebody with a high fence jacket on, that might be a warden or mm -hmm. something. Over the cattle grid we go. Welcome to club camp. What's on? What's on? <laughs> oh, yeah. While you yeah, wait for my colleague, I'll yeah. tell you what is. Uh, toilet and shower blocks on the right hand side down there. Yeah. All the waste is down there as well. Okay, yeah. The emptying points. Yeah. Left hand side of this pathway, there's a blue wire, wagon, lorry, call yeah. it what you like. It's a bar, it's an admin's bar. Oh, all right, lovely. That opens at quarter past six till about half past nine, ten. All just right. Oh, that's yeah. good, yeah. At the moment, there's two, uh, two maybe three uh, food stalls in the feast in the park. Oh, yeah. yeah. But Weekends there's obviously more. Yeah. Um, if you go off site in your car, the gates here all automatically lock at five. Oh really? Oh. But there's a keypad. There's a long. There's a post oh, yeah. before you come under the archway. Yeah. One of them is ours. Press it and we can let you in remotely. Oh, can you walk from so, here? Can you? That's brilliant, isn't so it? So you yeah. you can go out right. after five. At least you're oh. not captured then. Aren't yeah. You? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> if you're later than eleven, you're sleeping in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> So, now that I've got myself a cup of tea, just time to quickly tell you about the VFO dash cam. Um, they sent me the A139 Pro two channel dash cam. I've got to tell you, really impressed. I've gone for the internal camera option this time around, and the G Shock works, well, it's got a sensitivity you can adjust, and I've got it on the highest sensitivity. When we were driving over a pothole the other day, it kicked in, and when it kicks in, what it does, it saves. A minute's worth of video or the previous video so that you've always got that core and then it's locked into the system and the only way that will be ever erased is if you decide to unlock it and erase it yourself so the front camera that's recording in 4k at 30 frames per second the internal camera uh, that records at 1080p at 30 frames per second so I really like it because I can get the footage that I need for the videos both um, from the front view out of the windscreen and a little bit of internal shots from the cockpit But of course, that's not what dash cams about So let's talk about some of the features very quickly that you can expect to find on the VFO A139 Pro So this dash cam has got the Sony Starvis 2 sensor fitted. What does it actually mean? Well, what it really means is that the technology is built in to ensure that you get the best possible clarity from the 4k footage that you're filming straight out of the windscreen Alongside all of that, you've got the 4K HDR night vision. 
So what the night vision 2 image sensor does, it enables the best possible detail at night and that helps bring balance over dark and bright. The other thing I really like about this dash cam is it's very slick. It's taken up no windscreen space whatsoever. Final thing to say is I'm really pleased that I got it. You'll be seeing a lot more VFO footage in our videos going forward because the quality of, of the recording at 4K is just superb. And this is what the pop-up site looks like. I've never been on a pop-up site, apart from, I suppose, you could say when we went to the concert at the uh, oh, yeah, Club Fest. Yeah. It's a very similar setup with all these sort of 10 amp sort of mobile electronic hookups over here. Uh, it's a bit, I will say it's a little bit of a sponsored walk to go and fetch your water, a bit of a trek. It's as far as you can see in the distance. Um, that's the sort of only downside, I would say. Uh, the toilets are very clean. I'll let you have a little look at the loos now because I did a quick film in them when I was, went for a walk this morning at about 7 o'clock. Now, these toilets are very basic, but they're very clean, and so are the showers. And the whole sort of wash-up area and the waste disposal and the fresh water points and the Elson were a heck of a walk from the caravan. I suppose logistically, um, they would have been great to have had them in the centre of the pop-up, but there must have been a good reason why they couldn't have done that. That would be my only criticism, really. And I think £36.25 a night, it felt a bit pricey. But then again, we were in the middle of the Holcomb estate. But talking of price, check out some of the prices coming up later in the video. Mind-boggling. Bella's having a wee-wee. <laughs> so, Helen, <clears throat> how are you enjoying the Holcomb pop-up after one night? I quite like it. It's very peaceful. Yeah. Well, I like the fact that it's on the Holcomb estate, so we can go and have a look around the hall later, can't we? Well, they do some tours, some tours that aren't usually uh, to the public. And one is on a Tuesday, which is cellar tours. One is on a Wednesday, which is the attic tours. Uh -huh. I'm not sure how much they are. I'll find that out. I wouldn't mind going tomorrow to the to the attic tour. Yeah. That'd be a bit different. Quite good, wouldn't it? Yeah. And uh, there's a nice sort of a pub and hotel, which uh, we may going to have a bit of lunch in later. Uh, the Victoria. The Victoria, yeah. That's at the gates as you drive in. Yeah. Uh, I also like the fact that uh, roaming just all over the place is thousands of deer, isn't there? There is, they're beautiful, yeah. Like little bambies everywhere, so yeah. we'll show you some footage of that as well. In the meantime, this is one part of Norfolk, in terms of the beach anyway at Norfolk, that we haven't been down before. We've never been onto Holcomb Beach. Spent lots of time at Wells, which is just over in that direction there. Not far from the uh, Pinewoods uh, Caravan Park, which is owned by uh, Holcomb Hall or the Earl of Leicester, whichever way you want to look at it. And I just can't believe the weather. <laughs> I really can't. It's the 1st of August. I've got a coat on. It's windy. It did rain an awful lot in the night. And uh, at one point I thought I might have to get up and go and take the sun canopy down. Not a good thing to do in the wind, is it? But if you don't do it, the wind will do it for you. Lovely area to walk the dog though. Well, interesting view from this little platform here. And what we're looking at at the moment, when the tide is in, this often fills up with the water as well. Lots of people making their way down to the beach with their wind breaks. I'm sure they're not gonna do much sunbathing. <laughs> I suppose if you don't see the beach much, it's quite an attraction, but yeah, look, here's a close-up of the tide when it's in on this view here, which is basically that. Purple sea lavender, Helen, a haze of purple sea yeah, lavender. See Vibrantly mm -hmm. coloured plants such as pink sea thrift and sea heath, purple sea lavender, yellow sea aster and fiery red sapphire create a transforming blanket of seasonal colour. They are salt marsh specialists, adapted to survive repeated submergence by the salt water, followed by exposure to the sun and the wind. That's incredible. I don't know if you'll make it out on this camera or not, but there's quite a lot of that purple sea heather, or lavender, should I say, about at the moment. But I think it's time for our coffee. Should we go and get a coffee at that calf? One thing you see a lot of on the Norfolk coast is seals. So it's uh, the Norfolk coast path 
three miles to Wells next to the sea along there. There's also the Holcomb Circular Walk, another good public footpath. And Burnham over his stave, three and three quarter miles. We'll have a quick look at the lookout. That's where we've just been. There to be exact. So we're just in an area of Holcomb Estate. I think this is called Holcomb Village. What I like about all these old estates is how all the buildings are all done in the same style, standard paint jobs. Uh, but up here, um, well, there's an Adam store. <laughs> I've been just been to the real ale shop. I was interested to see what they had, but no, they hadn't got what I want. But well, something tells me this place might have. You've got a bottle of Adnams Prosecco, Helen, to finish off. Yeah. In fact, you've not even started it. Gosh, it's yeah. in the cool box. You might open that tonight. There's also everything outdoor, like clothing there. Should we have a look in here? Yeah. Yeah, this is my kind of shop, Hel. Oh, here's your Prosecco here, look. Like. Yeah. You like to pick out all the expensive stuff, don't you? Yes, I like. I don't know, I'd have a guess at about 40 quid. 59.99. Oh. Right, I'm going to have a look up here. Look, they've got some, um, some goodies up here. So here we are in Norfolk, looking at the finest export from Suffolk. <laughs> look at these. Water jugs and stuff. If you're a broadside drinker, that could be for you. Got a really nice shop. I think this could get expensive. And over here, look. Right, look at our found. Does this look? Oh, Montreal. Yeah, does this look familiar? Yes, it does. Where from? Yeah, that's what you got from the Labour uh, Lot. Labour and Lot, yeah, £17 and they pounds had a bottle. Like a winery shop. We'll find the wines in, and that wine, that red, is the loveliest red I've ever had. So, how much is it? I don't know, that's quite a big bottle, isn't it? Have they got any smaller versions? It's 33.99. I've not got any glasses on, it is, but I yeah. think that's what it says. Yeah. So that's quite reasonable, really, isn't it? Hmm? Reasonable? Is she mad? So just managed to pick up a few essentials from the Adnam shop, which is absolutely brilliant. If you're at Holcomb Hall, go into the Adnam shop because it sells more than beer. Great selection of wines and spirits and also gifts as well. Brilliant. Let's say the Adnam shop looks like it was once the old school. I should have asked the question inside, really. But a beautiful building, nonetheless. So let's head up here. Everything outdoor. Dogs welcome, Helen will be happy. Always dangerous bringing Helen into any kind of shop, really. Now, what did I tell you? There was no way Helen was going to make it out of that shop without buying something. And she bought a hat. 
Well, it's kind of raining on and off, and I didn't want my hair to get wet. Well, look at the feather in the side of it. Other side. Oh, oh yeah. Sort of suits you, really. Yeah. Oh, you can wear that when you go to the races, my dear. Yeah. Right, I want to go and look at this little monument. Now, I've just looked, there's a plaque on there. It's uh, the infant school of 1837. So I was right about the Adam shop. Whilst I was busy checking out what the Adam shop was, I didn't check out what the great uh, everything outdoor store was. The everything outdoor store, I can't speak today. Do you reckon that's an old school building as well? This is to the glory of God and to the immortal memory of all those from Holcomb who served in the Great War from 1914 to 1919. Some fell in battle and some died in, of wounds and sickness, but all nobly did their duty to their king and country. Very good. Yeah, so we know that's the old infant school over there, but What's that? What is everything outdoors? I'm gonna have to find out. It looks like a school building as well, doesn't it? What? Right, so here's the Victoria pub, which we're now gonna head into. That was the uh, road down to the beach that we've just been down earlier today. But I just thought I'd show you, because a lot, a lot of swifts and swallows flying around here. So you might have saw, um, Carl looks really nice here actually, you might have saw the, the nest in the calf. But yeah, there's the pub. It's also a hotel. It's got a restaurant and rooms. Well, we'll just just, like just go in and get a drink, so Steve and Mez get here. They're lovely, aren't they? Yeah, they look like uh, mini milks. You know them little ice cream mini milks? <sighs> right. <laughs> You're showing your age, if nothing else. Now, as you can see from here, this is really quite beautiful inside the Victoria. Uh, they've got a beautiful price list as well. <laughs> Unfortunately, we wanted to have a, a beer or a coffee while we waited for our friends Maz and Steve and then looked at uh, the menu to have something to eat. Uh, the prices were... Um, Expensive, astronomical in fact, uh, to the extent that I just wasn't prepared to pay £30 for cotton chips for lunch. Uh, if we'd had a starter or even a sweet and a few drinks, I think I'd have been doing in best part of £100 just for the two of us. So, no, I'm afraid we left that one alone. Well, it's school holidays and there's plenty going on. Little tractor over there with a trailer takes you for a guided tour around the estate, which is vast. It goes on forever. We're just going to have a little wander. We went in the pub because we were thinking of having a bite to eat in the Victoria and a drink mainly, coffee and stuff, but the bar wasn't open and uh, when I saw the prices on the menu, I thought I'm not taking a mortgage out on lunch, so we scrapped that idea. Instead we've walked down here and they've got a bit of a, a street food type area, I think they're calling it Feast in the Park over there. So we're going to take a nose and see if we can find anything that wets our whistle. Bit windy, Steve. Mm. Well, here we are, wrapped up, all got our coats and hats and scarves on, braving the August weather and having a bit of a scampi and fries. Not a lot left in mine, I should have filmed it at the beginning. Helen's devoured most of hers. Amazing Holcomb Hall. We've, uh, we've been around that a few times, particularly at Christmas time when they do uh, Lovely, spectacular actually, Christmas light display in all of the rooms. It really is something else. We're going to inquire about the uh, the attic tour, find out when that's on and we may go in. But for now, we're going to wander over to the cafe. <laughs> Not that we're going to eat anymore because we've just had lunch. But we'll wander over to the cafe and uh, also there's a gift shop over here as well. So we'll take a nose at that. There's Helen with her hat. Looking like um, a tinker. <laughs> yes. Well, that's what tinkers have, a hat with a feather in the side. Yes, it is. Oh, there goes the caravans into the pop-up site. Quite a good, comp um, quite a good idea, the pop-up site. 
Well, at night time tonight, there's loads of deer here. We're going to come down at night because we shut the gates when everybody leaves about five. Yeah. And we had a look last night. It was lovely, wasn't it? Beautiful, yeah. So I promised a bit of sunshine about that time, so yeah. let's give it a go. I'll believe it when I see it. Uh, spot the person not wearing a coat. Holcomb Stories Experience. Fancy buying a book to read, Hal? I might. Oh, it's not a story group, it's a tour. Oh, it's a tour, is it? Oh, right, okay, let's have a quick look. It's like, um, like a big table. Right. Some of these feathers, something. It's like a big table. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 right, let's go in. Yeah. Have a look around. Right, how are we doing? It's getting a little bit warmer, you can't feel the wind here so much, can you? No, you can't. No. We'll come back in a bit, we'll go back and get a drink. A I want to go a quick look in the gift shop. Oh, yeah. You coming in? Or is it no, no dogs? You can go. Okay, I'll go. I might spend some money though. No, you won't. I will. I'll okay, over here for your cycle hire. Helen reckons she can ride a bike. and it, Yeah, with stabilizers. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know what you like, Hal. Not nice at all. Right, so let's have a look for a, see how much the cycle hire is. So £12 for a couple of hours on a, an adult bike. Full day, £24. You can get electric bikes. Two hours for 25 quid. Half a day, 38 Full day, 52 Car. Right, this is called the ropes course over here. Great area for the kids to come and play. I don't know if this is free or if there's a charge for it. There seems to be a charge for most things here, I must admit. Booking available online, so it looks like you've got to pay or oh, book a slot. Let's have a look. <laughs> there's no shortage of dogs about, that's for sure. Yeah, you have got to pay. It's £21 a person. My goodness me. You've got to be a minimum of one metre in height. I think we'll get away with that. <laughs> Little play area here for the kids. That looks like it is free. Thank goodness. If you're a regular to the channel, then you know that I think that Adnam's ghost ship is the nuts. And here's the proof. <laughs> that was cheesy. <laughs> One of the great features of this pop-up site is it's got an Adnam's bar on it. And after a few pints, there's only one thing for it. Well, after that little afternoon nap, it was time for something to eat, and Helen did a great thing. She made lasagna before we left the house, actually, and she put it into some tinfoil cartons, which we kept in the fridge, and then we just warmed them through in the oven, and dinner was absolutely fantastic. But we're going to end the video there. Like I always say, if you have been, thank you very much indeed for watching. If you've not yet subscribed to the channel, do it now. Hit the subscribe button. Remember, it's absolutely free. Give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and hit the notification bell as well. And then you'll know when all the videos are coming out. And uh, we really appreciate it. But until the next time, as they say, we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Bye.